Hey Brad, I have an extra thousand dollars coming in. What should I do with it to get the most return on my investment? I get this question all the time from clients and the truth is that there's not an easy answer because everyone's situation is different. However, let's go over a couple basics. Number one, if you don't have an emergency fund and an emergency account, like at least a grand in there, that's what you wanna do. Set $1,000 aside for an emergency because they happen, life happens, whether it's a car breaking down or someone going to the hospital and you have to bail them out or going to jail and you have to bail them out, a thousand bucks needs to be put on the side. After that, you wanna invest in paying off your debt. And I know this does not sound fun, but if you have credit card debt, you're paying 14 to 22% interest. You're not gonna get a return like that in the market. So pay off the debt with that. Now, assuming your debt is paid off, assuming you have a savings account or an emergency fund that has at least $1,000 in it, you can go in so many different directions. Now, my perspective is different than a lot of financial gurus out there because I don't believe you should just put it into a stock, into a bond, into some sort of traditional investment. I feel like for $1,000 in 2020, the best thing you can do is put it into yourself and into relationships. So that means because it's 2020, because we've been in the longest bull market ever, Jobs might be getting slashed soon. When we enter our next recession, what is gonna set you apart from everyone else? It's not gonna be the fact that you have some sort of investment portfolio with $1,000 in index funds. That's great, but if your job is on the line or you wanna stand out when jobs are getting slashed, that means what are you doing differently? What skill have you developed? Have you learned a new language? Are you better as a public speaker than someone else in your office? What are you doing to upgrade your potential at your employer or just to have your own business and make more money that way? $1,000 put into personal growth will be worth way more than $1,000 put into an index fund or any other investments like that. So some of the ways you can do this is investing in skills like public speaking, joining Toastmasters, it's learning that new language, it's going to that marketing or sales seminar and learning how to close deals or negotiate better. These things are very valuable. It's just hard to put a monetary return on it. If you're not in sales now, understand that still you're selling yourself every day. The difference between you knowing sales and being good at communicating with other people could be the difference between you getting that promotion and Karen down the hall getting it. Another angle could be investing in your physical appearance, maybe getting your clothes tailored, getting a new suit, getting your teeth fixed or whitened, something like that because understand, it all matters. In most cases, the way you present yourself physically has a big impact as to how you're respected and how you're received in your workplace. And especially if you're in sales, that goes without saying, but you don't want to just blow a thousand dollars on something vain. You want to make sure that it's going to further you in your career. So think of the skills that the people ahead of you at your job or in your career have that you don't yet have. If it is public speaking, invest there. If it is sales, invest there. Whatever it is, if you want to move up or if you want to shift to a new career, think of what skills and what assets they have that you must get. Spend that thousand dollars on those skills and I promise you that will be the best return you ever get. The second area I'm very passionate about are relationships. Cultivate them now, build them now, because it is true. It's who you know, not what you know. And of course, you wanna be competent in a job. You can't know nothing. But who you know is really important because a lot of times that's the tiebreaker. You have 50 people that are qualified, but the boss has a close relationship with you or at least knows you better than the other 49 and you're the one that gets that job. So with $1,000, I see it as 50 coffee dates. $10 here, $10 here, could be 100 dates, but the bottom line is make that your relationship fund. Who are the people that you want to cultivate relationships with and who are the ones that you have relationships with but you want it to get stronger? Because guess what? When the next recession comes, the people with those ties will be the ones that have it a lot easier than the ones that didn't spend all this time building mutually beneficial relationships. And again, I stress that term, mutually beneficial, because it's not about, hey, what's your name? and talk to me about you and then I'm just going to be there asking for favors. It's no, what's important to you in life? How can I offer that? But let me make the first move because you do not wanna be the one making the second move. 
Now, there's nothing wrong with putting your money into the stock market or any other traditional investments. I just know the best returns I've ever gotten in terms of my financial success, as well as just personal happiness and fulfillment, is personal growth and in relationships. If those buckets aren't full, fill that first. And for $1,000, you can do a lot to help yourself in your career and build relationships that are going to help you in the long run. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your best investment down in the comment section, and I'll see you next time.